Hello, and thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Denise Wood, here with ILTV's morning briefing from Israel. Unfortunately, the wave of terror is continuing in Israel. An Israeli woman is in serious condition after a terror attack in the West Bank. The woman is in her 20s and was stabbed by two attackers in her upper body while waiting at a bus stop near Ariel. Emergency services responded to the scene, and she's now being treated at a hospital in Petah Tikva. Security forces have neutralized both of the terrorists. Former Mossad chief Meir Dagan has passed away at the age of 71 after a long battle with cancer. Dagan was a decorated general in the IDF before becoming the head of Israel's leading spy agency. He led the agency from 2002 until his retirement in 2011, and is also known for carrying out daring missions during his time at the IDF. Dagan was a major general in the IDF and served for 32 years, including during the Six-Day War, the Yom Kippur War, and the First Lebanon War. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has expressed deep sorrow for his death and called him a great warrior and a daring commander. Israeli President Reuven Rivlin says Israel won't allow Iran and Hezbollah to establish a presence in the Golan Heights. Rivlin's in Moscow this week to meet with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. And he says the presence of enemies along the chaotic Israeli-Syrian border is a red line for the Jewish state. Rivlin also reportedly told Putin that Israel wants the United Nations peacekeepers to return to the border, which they largely abandoned when the civil war spiraled out of control. Putin is vowing to continue security coordination with Israel for military activities on the Syrian border, and says Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will be coming to Russia for talks on regional security and trade. The historic deal to establish a mixed-gender prayer section at the Western Wall may be cancelled. Interior Minister Arya Deri from the ultra-Orthodox Shas party is quoted as saying, the story is over, it will not happen. The compromise agreement was announced in January, but has since come under intense criticism from the ultra-Orthodox community. The Shas and United Torah Judaism political parties originally okayed the agreement, but now they're saying they'll pull out of the governing coalition rather than sanction the agreement. The deal calls for the expansion of the Western Wall's non-Orthodox section at Robinson's Arch. Prime Minister Netanyahu has hailed the agreement as proof of Israel's commitment to respecting the rights of non-Orthodox Judaism. That's all for now. I'm Denise Wood, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.